Yo, 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 what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D. We are back with another video. And today we're going to talk about, we're going to do part two to uh, Kwame Brown going off on Stephen A. Smith. Let me turn that down a little bit. Uh, Stephen A. Smith recently did a podcast with Paul George. And he talked about KB. And KB is clapping back at him. Let's get it. Whippy Rock. Man, listen, man. I, I really think. Salute to you. Salute to you, remember? For all months, we're going to do some members only lives, man. Listen. I really do believe Stephen A. must have done got on that weed, man. I think Stephen A. finally succumbed to whatever he was talking about, which is the weed. Because it just don't make any sense. This guy want to, the one where he's in the Soul Train line, get me every time. Yeah, like, this guy want to act as if, he wants to act as if we can't, we don't remember the videos. Uh, shout out to Self Talk. Self Talk did a great job of detailing out and breaking down everything I said, which you could not hide. And I don't think it's a, it's a reason why he is mentioning my name now because of what they always do. They, they divide and they conquer, but they haven't conquered. Salute to all the members. They divide, but they haven't conquered. So yeah, they took away some great editors that was just standing on truth and made us all argue. If you notice what we do on YouTube now, everybody arguing, everybody's caught up in, oh, I'm mad at you about this, I'm mad at you about that. And they forget now what this all started about. What this all about is what Stephen A is trying to do now. Pull the wool over your eyes. Fuck a petty argument. Stephen A, you are the weasel that went to high schools and colleges and talked about a professional athlete to children. You're the weasel that's going to go now and make John Morant your new whipping boy. You're the weasel who they seek out the yard dog that they seek out every day to keep the Negroes in line. That's all you do. You call Dana White your friend after he slapped a white woman in the face. Now, Stephen A Smith. ESPN is your love affair for women only for black women because I would like to think that if Stephen A. Smith said that I love Ray Rice he's a good man or he's my friend after he hit his wife or hit his girlfriend at the time I think black women as a whole would have called to cancel him and I think before black women would have called to cancel him you guys would have canceled him first so is this believe all women movement just about black women or speaking of that we got Stephen A. Smith addressing First order of business about his comments from yesterday. <clears throat> I don't, what I didn't like about what Dana White did was how he was speaking about, okay, what, what would you have happen? What do you want me to do? I don't think that was the thing to say. Um, that's number one. But number two, I want to get into this because you know this is first taken. We don't run from issues and we ain't about to start now. And people who have implied that somehow, some way we run from issues or we soft soap stuff, I don't think they know what the hell they're talking about. So let me say, I'm speaking for myself. I know I'm not gonna speak for you and I'm gonna speak for myself. I've already stated for the record, Number one, I spoke to Dana White. Dana White knows exactly where I stand. He was wrong. You do not put your hands on a woman, period. Okay? I also said that Dana White deserves the same punishment he would hand down to one of his fighters. Can I, can I just say really quickly sure. what I said after you said that? Yes. I said he deserves a stricter punishment than that because the role he plays, yep. and it's a leadership role. Right. But people seem to forget. Yeah, they forgot that. They, they just conveniently forgot yeah. that. And the reason that I said that he deserves what he would hand down to other players, other, other, other fighters under his stewardship, is because somebody would get suspended for six months, somebody would get suspended for a year. You see what I'm saying? Now, am I an advocate of cancer culture where you want him to lose his job? No. And I'm not apologizing for that. Married 27 years to his wife. His wife spoke about this issue as well. They're working it out as a family. It's the family matter. It's the private matter, but it became public. But the fact of the matter is, at the end of the day, Dana White was wrong. You how come you don't have this same compassion when it comes to a black athlete? That's the question. Now, if you would have had this same energy when it comes to, you know, any of these black athletes that get accused or, you know, uh, charges are brought up on, then we can understand your point of view. But there's time and time again, countless times where you don't give this same compassion to your fellow black man. That's the point. Stephen A. Smith. Or is it about all women? Because we watched Dana White slap the hell out of a woman. And it was nothing. Stephen A., we watch you give example after example of the type of things that you're going to talk about at a basketball camp. All of those things were about black football players or black, one black basketball player. So you're still up to your same old fucking job. You're still up to your same old job. They took a raggedy knee, washed up player that never even played. Where's his song, Lee? Uh, where's my song? Lee said, no goop, no what? <laughs> the Lee gonna take all the money. Oh, they play the song, they play the song. I'm gonna play it, the Lee gonna take all the money. You smoking weed? Hmm. Yeah, but hey, see though, I just wanna act. They picked a raggedy knee, washed up player from New York to be the face of basketball. How is this raggedy knee guy with a screw in his knee? Don't have no playground history in New York. Don't have no high school history in New York. 
and he's the voice of basketball. This got to be a joke. Down is up and up is down. So all of us need to be doing this right now. I think allegedly I said, no, no, I think he's doing this. He cannot be, he cannot be the voice of basketball. He cannot be. He ain't even that serious. It's about to be legalized. He trying to tell you that. You <laughs> It fights. <laughs> Steven, the guy who had it. A- hey, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna pause it right here because KB about to roast the hell out of Stephen A. Smith when he was boxing. So I'm gonna say that for another video. Uh, make sure if y'all new to the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. But once again, uh, KB is highlighting how come you don't have that same compassion when it comes to your fellow black athletes. That's all. We just want the same respect like you respect Dana White. How come you don't have that same compassion? You know, when it's, you know, John Morant, when it's um, uh, Kyrie Irving, you know, you want to talk about how much money he should make and should he still be playing and where he should go and what's, you know, you want to dictate his whole life on just a tweet. You was harder on Kyrie Irving tweeting than Dana White actually slapping. Make that make sense. It's your boy, Damn D, signing out.